Are you guys ready to see your next criminal? Keep it going right now for Tesmer Gold, everybody! Who in the crowd has been to Vegas before? <laughs> Hell yeah, I love Vegas. I love Vegas because everybody who goes to Vegas has a crazy story. They do. Mine's a little bit different. Uh, I did go there intending to commit a crime. And I lost $1,000 in the process. <laughs> but I will say, there's a lot of things that are illegal in Texas that are perfectly fine to do in Nevada, right? You've got gambling, prostitution, abortion. And look, I only did two out of three of those things while I was there. Um, <laughs> prostitution wasn't one of them, by the way. Uh, you'll, you'll come to find that at the end of the story. I've never charged for sex, but I have definitely paid for the consequences <laughs> of it. <laughs> Yeah, so here's what happened. Uh, about a year and a half ago, I, uh, I had just gotten dumped into, and <laughs> yeah, I had to get a plan B after that. I did. It was a lot, not to brag, but it was a lot. It was scary. I did make the guy pay for it, uh, the plan B, because uh, I didn't come. That's fair, right? <laughs> like, if we both come, I'll go Dutch, but... <laughs> That didn't happen. And I've taken too much plan B in my life, okay? I've taken so much plan B that I'm going through menopause right now. Yeah, I pop that shit the way Catholics attend mass, just once a week and full of guilt, right? So the guy, he gave me $50, but what I've learned about taking the morning after pill over the years is that plan B is $50, off-brand plan B is 30. Yeah, so ladies, if you play your cards right, you can actually make a profit. I, uh, I told that to a couple guy friends of mine, and they were like, ugh, Tess, you sound like a dude. <laughs> and I was like, why? Because I started my own small business? <laughs> I'm an entrepreneur, okay? I do feel like there's so much come inside of me now that I am starting to think like a man. It's not good. Like, now I love football and touching people unconsensually. <laughs> All right, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it was because it was off-brand or maybe my tolerance is too high, but this pill did not work, all right? And I was pissed, because this was like right after they passed the six-week abortion ban here in Texas. So I was about to commit a federal crime. <laughs> I was, and we know what it's like right now. Like if you want to get that done, you got to make like a fugitive and cross state lines. It's like the saddest family road trip you've ever had. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> So I, I did choose to go to Vegas because of that old adage, you know, what happens in Vegas, haunts you for the rest of your life. Um, <laughs> no. So I, uh, I got on a plane to Vegas. I get there. An hour after I get there uh, is when my uh, appointment is. And, uh, you know, get in a taxi, go there. And by the way, before this all happened, I was telling a friend of mine about the whole situation. And she was like, Tess, you're so dumb. Like, everybody knows the pull-out method doesn't work. And I was like, the pull-out method? Shit, I should have tried that. <laughs> I fucked up. So I get to this clinic, and uh, it's really sketchy. It's a sketchy clinic. <laughs> they do not have Planned Parenthood in Vegas, believe it or not. And before you can even go into the waiting room, you've got to pay up front. And they're like, it's going to be $1,000. And I did make the guy pay for it. Because, <laughs> again, I didn't come. That's fair. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, I get in there, and... Um, by the way, I've only had one abortion, but it was twins, so it feels like double homicide. That's, that's what it feels like. <laughs> um, and I, uh, the gynecologist there, he was this super sassy gay guy who was like, so it is twins, but I just want to let you know, same price, girl. <laughs> I was like, so this is a BOGO? And he's like, yeah, it's a BOGO. <laughs> I do love a sale, love a deal. And then I, I went in for the actual, you know, uh, procedure and the nurse was getting the room ready and she was like hey like do you want to like listen to a song while this is going on <laughs> and of course the first thing that popped in my head I was like play baby by Justin Bieber let's do that <laughs> no I opted not to listen to a song I just thought it'd be weird to hear a song like I don't want to be out and about in public one day or at a party and hear a song and get brought back to that moment like oh it's my abortion song that's so bad <laughs> Yeah, no, so, so I chose no music, but I fucked up, because now every time it's silent, I think I'm about to get an abortion. So, so don't be quiet around me, is what I'm saying. No, it's fine. Every, everything went fine. You know, I recovered. I had a great time in Vegas after that. You know, I'd already gambled with a life. Might as well gamble 
in general. <laughs> um, I will say, like, I, I don't like what's going on in the country right now. I hate that, like, our rights are being taken away. It really sucks. Uh, but I do feel really fortunate that I had the means and opportunity to commit this crime. <laughs> Yeah, I'm very grateful. And I don't like living in a conservative state, but I also don't like the way that liberal people talk about abortion. I hate it. Like, they always have to showcase some sob story to get you on their side. Like, what if it was rape? What if it was incest? I'm like, let her get it for shits and giggles, okay? <laughs> like, women, we know when a man's gene should not continue in the population. <laughs> also, <laughs> you should, also, you should be able to get one because you don't want to be a mom, right? Yes. Hell yeah. And I know what you're thinking. Hey, if every woman who didn't want to be a mom had an abortion, most of us wouldn't be here. <laughs> and you're right, most of you should not be here. Society <laughs> sucks. Okay, those empty seats back there, those are progress, all right? <laughs> those are my twins, all right? <laughs> all right, you guys, that's my story, thank you. I love a good abortion story. I've had three as a gay man, which is a lot, you what? know? <laughs> And I'd have again, I'd have another one, you know. Do you make men wear condoms? I don't make men do anything except pay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Before I have sex and she's like, oh, I wanna, uh, you should put on a condom. I go, don't worry, I have a Southwest companion card, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I am a homosexual, just to be clear. Uh, you actually, did you get the rewards card? Yeah. Every time you get an abortion, you get a punch, and then on the fifth one, you get a t-shirt. It's great. <laughs> so how many, I mean, do you know how many times you have taken plan, plan B? I actually don't know how many times I've taken Plan B. I'm gonna be honest with Can you. Can we do a rough guess? Are we in the 30s at this point? <laughs> Pro probably. We're probably in the 40s. <laughs> probably in what? the 40s? Yeah. Is that why you're popping out twins? They're just like, please, yeah. please. <laughs> <laughs> Let me live. <laughs> Let me live. They've Did you ask so if they were fraternal or paternal or fraternal? You or... can't. Okay, so I was like, <laughs> I was like six weeks long, so you can't tell that. He was also like, one of them might die before. <laughs> oh, both of them will. And he went, like, no, can... both of them will. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, can you just get rid of one? No, uh, no, that's not possible. No, I saw the giver. That's how they do it. They, okay, well, yeah, thank you. Apparently, <laughs> nobody else watches movies. Any questions? <laughs> Any questions for Tess? Yeah, what's up? Um, no. <laughs> and I'll tell you this, I took an off-brand version of Plan B one time called My Way. Yes. <laughs> what is this, Burger King? Da, 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 uh, uh. Frank Sinatra. Oh, we can God. have it our way. <laughs> No, baby. Funny. Just him kicking ladies in the pussy. Just <laughs> da, 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 da. He's just getting kicked in the uterus. Oh my God. <laughs> That's another way to go. You can also do a roller coaster, but they shut down Six Flags, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Couple? what's up? Did he travel with you to Vegas, or did he just send it to you? He did. He was I'm on a... Wait, he, he traveled with you to Vegas? Well, okay, so the reason we went to Vegas is because he had a work trip in Vegas, so the hotel was already paid for. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So you weren't kidding at all when they were like, as long as they pay, it's... <laughs> it's on the dime of the company, uh, for sure. So Can you have more sex? Like, say you get an abortion on a Saturday. Are you fucking on Sunday? Okay, so after you get an abortion, if you have sex again, you're way more likely to get pregnant on right Sunday, after that. On Sunday, because it's God's day? <laughs> Yeah, that's so unfair. Your body has already gotten it ready, so it's like, where did it go? We want another one. <laughs> I put this somewhere. <laughs> it's fine. It was fine. All right, this I just fun. also, are you pregnant? No. You, Colton! She, wow. She's wearing black. She's doing this. What? What? No, fuck you. <laughs> Sorry. I, you do never you're wearing black. You're wearing black. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So, wait, yes or no? Oh, so he's not, all right, so he's nice. Okay, all right, all right. Oh, fuck you guys. What, emotionally <laughs> intelligent, son? Okay, all right. <laughs> Who's an asshole now? <laughs> You're glowing, by the way. <laughs> Are you keeping it? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, one of the things I like about the text messages is sometimes people will text in twice to clarify things. So first text, stole a headband. Oh. 10 minutes later, from Claire's. <laughs> I fucking... That's so good. 
You can't steal an ear piercing. <laughs> Stealing from Claire's is the easiest thing in the world. Remember when it used to be limited too? Does anyone remember that? Yeah. Hell, okay, yeah. No, you could just take the little like sets of earrings and then just pull little sets out right. of there. It's also like when you're a kid, you're like, oh my God, this place is a fucking safe. And then you go there now, you're like, there's children working there. They don't give a fuck <laughs> what you do. I could kick out the shit out of everybody in this mall. <laughs> I worked at Abercrombie for two weeks, jealous, and uh, they have a rule where you're not allowed to stop anybody from stealing because then you'll, they'll get sued or something. So people yeah. would just walk in with full bags of just, and I go, hey, it smells good, doesn't it? <laughs> so it smells real fucking good. <laughs> All right, we got one more. This was so cute, I had to read it. It says, hi, I'm here for the show. <laughs> Very lame, but the only crime I've committed is stealing a 38 cent toothbrush holder from Walmart because I couldn't get it to scan at self checkout. Oh my God. <laughs> That's such a wholesome crime. <laughs> so that the is crime... the most adorable crime I've ever heard of. <laughs> the crime is no cavities. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I also That's like that oh, maybe a Walmart helper was looking at him like, stop! <laughs> stop! <laughs> You forgot your toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I give it up for Tess, everybody. Clap it up. Yeah.